Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I will walk you through the Fluid interface, which is one of the best ways to control your clipper-based 3D printer directly from a web browser. We are not going to cover how to install Clipper or how to flash your board. I'm assuming that your printer already came with Clipper pre-installed or you've got it set up. Instead, this will be a practical guide showing how to navigate Fluid, what all the tabs do and where to find the most useful tools. When you open Fluid, the first thing you will see is the dashboard. This is your main control panel and gives you an overview of everything, from current temperatures to motion controls, fan speeds, macros and your print progress. You can manually home axis, move the print head, heat up the bed or nozzle and even run macros right from here. It's basically the place you will visit most often. You will also see your webcam feed here if you have a camera connected and you will get live updates of temperature graphs, printing status and filament usage if configured. Right below the dashboard is the console tab. This is where you can manually enter G-code or clipper commands. For example, if you want to home the printer, you can type G28. Or if you want to get the current status, just type status. It's also where all the messages from the printer show up. So if a macro asks for user input or something goes wrong, you will likely see it here. You don't need to use the console for day-to-day -day printing, but it's a powerful tool for troubleshooting or doing advanced tasks when needed. One really cool feature is the G-Code Preview tab. After you upload a sliced file, this tab shows you a visual preview of that file, layer by layer. You can scrub through layers, inspect infill, supports and toolpaths before even starting the print. This is great for double checking whether your slicing went as planned or if you need to tweak some settings before wasting filament. Next up, the files tab, also called saved files. Here you will find all the G-code files you've uploaded to the printer. You can organize them in folders, upload new ones, delete old files and start prints right from here. This is where your slicer sends files if you are using the fluid connection directly from something like Cura or Prusa slicer and it saves a ton of time compared to messing with SD cards. The history tabs shows a detailed list of all your past prints. You will see information like the file name, duration, print result, success, cancel or fail, and some basic stats. Super useful if you want to track which version you printed last or how long certain parts took. It's also a great way to find patterns if certain prints consistently fail. If you've set up a webcam, the timelapse tab is where your recorded timelapse videos will appear. Clipper can trigger a frame capture on every layer change and those images get turned into a video after a print finish. It's a nice feature, especially if you want to document your prints or share them online. Keep in mind that the setup for timelapse requires a bit of macro editing, but once it's done, the system handles it automatically. You can download or preview the videos right in this tab. Now let's go to the bed mesh tab. This is one of the most useful tools in Fluid if you want reliable first layers. After you run a mesh probe, usually via a macro, this tab will show you a 3D heat map of your print bed. You will see areas that are too high or too low and it can help you understand if your bed is warped or tilted. If you've ever wondered why your prints still look better in some corners, this is the tab that explains it. Next is the configuration tab. And this is where you will find all your clipper config files. Things like printer.cfg, extruder.cfg and more. If you scroll down, you will also see macros listed here. So if you want to edit or create things like preheat PLA or perch line, this is the place to do it. 
there is even a basic editor built in. Just make changes, hit save and restart Clipper to apply. Now I wouldn't recommend messing around here unless you are comfortable with Clipper syntax. But even beginners can copy paste macros shared by others once they are learning the basics. The system info tab shows you performance details of your Raspberry Pi or whatever computer runs Clipper. You will see the CPU and memory usage, uptime, temperature and logs. It's not something you need for every print, but it's useful to make sure your system is stable and running smoothly. And finally, the settings tab. This is where you personalize your fluid interface, changing the temperature unix, default behaviors, interface themes, layout and more. It's great for small adjustments like showing temperatures in Celsius or Fahrenheit, changing which panels are visible on the dashboard, or renaming your printer. So that's it. A complete walkthrough of the fluid interface for Clipper, focused on Core XY printers and day-to-day -day usage. Whether you are just getting started or you've already printed a few hundred hours, Knowing where everything is in Fluid makes the printing process much smoother. It's clean, fast, customizable, and once you get used to it, it's hard to get back to anything else. If you have any questions about specific tabs, macros, or want me to cover something like input shaping in more detail, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and happy printing!